Today I'm going to teach you how to do this right here. There you go. So, if you're interested in that, stick around. You, you think it's a game? You're listening to the sound come, come on. of DJ Mad. Hey, what's going on, guys? DJ Mad. I mean, today I'm going to be talking about a couple of cool stuff on contact and how to build rices and stuff like that. Before we get started, make sure to head down to beatport.com. Uh, go to uh, the store pro and check out my um, my label which is digital wax I got a whole bunch of really cool tracks out here that you guys can purchase and show some love and I will extremely appreciate it now let's jump right into the tutorial all right so to get this stuff done you're gonna need a, a instance of contact you could do it with other stuff but I think you could do it with battery as well but I'm using contact on, on this situation because it's just it, it plays well with it so we're gonna do this from scratch we're gonna keep that one right there. This is the original. Mm. And we are we're gonna duplicate it. We're gonna we're gonna leave the MIDI on there so we can save some time. And on the contact, which is gonna reset the whole thing. Let's delete that. All right, so. The first thing that I did was I found a, a, a sample, a vocal sample, which is this right here. Last night, last night I walked away from you. So I found that vocal sample, and the first thing that I did is that towards the end. Away from you. Let me just uh, mute that real quick. There you go. Away from you. There's nothing there, so before this was like this. Sorry, it was like this. Away from you. So what I did was I I chopped this up right here and then I bounced that in place by by uh I think you go to what is a project or you go to audio process and I think you go to bounce or whatever. A oh, bounce selection. Okay, I have a shortcut. This B. That's why I barely remember where it's at because I, I use shortcuts. So once you bounce a little piece that you want, in this case, I just I just uh, bounce one bar. I just I just basically just cut it into one bar. And once you do that, then you come to contact, and you open this folder right here. You go to files, and you find the location of that audio file. In this case, it will be on, under my music projects and the project name is zero then we go to audio and I look for it okay okay that's the one so then you grab it you drop it right here and if you go on your keyboard it should be able to play as soon as I go right here so it should put the automatically we'll put it on C mate on on the key of C that would be the, I'm not saying that, that that vocal is in C, but I'm saying that's where contact puts, uh, starts everything. If you want to change that, you can change that, but that's not what the tutorial is about. And what you do is you hit this little ranch right here, and you go to uh, audio, wave audio editor, or wave editor. And the first thing you do is this part right here where it says sample loop. Click on one of them, and automatically it's going to loop the whole thing. If you want to loop it a little shorter, you could do the same thing too. But if if not... If you want to loop the whole thing because it's already in a perfect loop on one bar, it's just it's just hitting it one and automatically start looping it. After you're done with that, then you close it. And then this right here, uh, where it says BDF, you want to change that to Time Machine. When you save it on Time Machine, you're going to see this thing that says Tune and Speed. Uh, um, the next thing you want to do is map these two, uh, these two uh, parameters, the Time and Speed. So you want to come to Auto. And if you want to learn a little, bit, a little bit more about mapping and whatever um, on contact, watch that, my previous tutorial before this one on my channel. So, <clears throat> excuse me. What you want to do is grab this zero zero whatever and put it on tune. Uh, actually, let me put this one on speed. And the second one, I'm going to put it on tune. Once we're done with that, you could close this right here. And I already have the MIDI, which is that the long MIDI right there. So I already have that done. And I don't have any, do I have any automation? 
Mm -mm -mm. Whatever. The point is that now what you want to do is, as it's playing, see, it's already looping right there. Like, if you go right here, that's the loop that I did. So let me just mute this piece right here so you won't hear that. Uh, the next thing that you want to do is close this, and you want to automate these things. So you hit um, the right button, play, and then click on both of them. One and two. All right? So this is one, and this is two. Okay? And this is the speed. That's the speed, and this is the, the tune. So the speed, I already have it done, which I did in the previous before. So let's just mute that. So I, I did a climb all the way up. And then on the tune, I did a very very light tune tune up over here. Uh, basically, it's just about downward contact. The next thing that I added to this to make it a little more cooler and make it sound a little more together was uh, I added a reverb. And I also automated the reverb as well. I, uh, I put it on 40% 40, 40 mix. And on the reverb time, I had it on zero, which if you see it over here, it starts from zero and it climbs all the way up to 100%. So if you come over here, you will see that it, it goes up to 100% or whatever the number that they want to call it, or 11 seconds or 12 seconds. That's what I did on the reverb. And the last thing that I added was a filter, which you can use any filter of your liking. I just happen to like uh, Fat Filter Simplon. I think it's one of the best filters out there. And what I did was I uh, I put up the peak a little bit, which is the residence. And then I just filter. I automated this part right here, which happens to be this. Where is it? This right here. And if you see it, if when I move it, you see the parameter moving. So that's how you do that. So when you play it all together, it sounds like this. And there you have it. That's how you build up a um, that's how you do a vocal riser, the false off beat, but actually kind of stays on beat type of thing. It took me a while to figure that out. I know a lot of guys know how to do it. And, you know, these tutorials are not meant for guys that, that you know, that know how to produce and stuff like that. This is for guys who are looking for ways of, uh, of, of those little tricks and stuff like that the big producers do, and they may not know how to do it. It's like Again, it took me a very long time to figure this out when I first started producing. And I sh I've been looking on YouTube to see if I could find something that, could, that teaches you how to do this. And... There ain't that much videos out there. As a matter of fact, I, I didn't even find one. So, uh, or maybe they didn't tag it correctly. So, that's why I decided to do this video, especially on Cubase 8. And hopefully you guys like this video. And please do me a favor, like, subscribe, and comment. If you don't understand something, just leave me a comment and whatever other questions you have. Just leave it on the section below. Don't forget to follow D-E-E-J-A-Y-M-A-D. Don't forget to follow my tracks, DJMad.com. And I extremely appreciate your support and love. Check out my previous videos. I got a whole bunch of really cool stuff on my channel. So, I will catch you on the next one. Later. You think it's a game? You're listening to the sound of DJ Max.